However there is no dedicated option in Procreate to change or remove background of an image. But every application have some hacks that need to be discovered. And that's what I tried to discover. So let's get started guys. First of all we import the background file. So, to import background file, we tap on this icon. And then tap on insert a file. And choose the background image from the device local storage. You can see that we have imported a beautiful looking woody background. We resize it, so that it covered the entire canvas. Now we lock the layer that contains the background file. It will prevent accidental touching of the background. To do so, access the layer panel, slide the background layer to left, and tap on the lock option. We have locked the layer, and background will remain unaffected while we perform different actions on the other layers. Now we import the image, that's background need to be erased. So again, we tap on the tool icon. Insert a photo and choose the desired image. Reason to choose this image is, this image having lots of hair busy with background. I want to show you how to extract hair from the background in Procreate. For now we lock this layer to avoid accidental touches during selection process. Now tap on this icon. It will show Procreate's photo editing tools. To select the object in the image, we use freehand selection tool. Zoom and rotate the image so much that you can detect the edges properly and draw selection with the help of iPad Pencil more and more precisely. The best part of iPad Pencil is its accuracy is 99% like of a physical pencil. And making a selection with the help of Apple Pencil is just like we are tracing an object with a physical pencil. You can see that I am not selecting the hair that are mixed with background. We will deal with them later. And this way we have done with selecting the object. Access the layer panel. Tap on the object layer and then tap on mask. You can see that the background of the object image has been removed and the area that comes under the selection remains on the layer. Now unlock the object layer. Slide, unlock, select the mask layer and again tap on the mask layer and tap on the invert option. Guys, you can see that inverting the mask will show the erased area and hide the selected object. The hair that were gone with the background are also back. Our task is to get back these hair and include them in our selection. To make so, we will make use of eraser tool. We will pick airbrushing and soft blend eraser. Set the brush opacity around 20 to 30%. And keep the brush size about 3 to 4%. Now zoom the object image and focus on the area that contains hair. Now carefully apply the brush on these hair. We have applied the brush with little pressure and not very hard. Make sure to apply the brush on hair and avoid applying on the surrounding area. Erasing the hair from here means that these erased part is getting included in our selection.
After applying brush on hair area, again go to layer panel and invert the mask on the mask layer. You can see that we have recovered lots of hair that were mixed with the background. But we can also see that it attracted some unwanted background areas too. These unwanted areas can easily be erased with the help of eraser brush. We again try to recover more hair area, repeating the same process. Now, to remove unwanted background areas, select the object layer. Then use the eraser brush tool to refine the selection. So guys, you can see, how I remove background, from a complex hair image with the help of Procreate. I give you an idea, and I hope you can take it to the next level. So that's it for today, if you enjoy the video, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.